Welcome soul family. Today we are looking at the personality for Leo Wu Le. His career and his love life. Let's see what's happening there. Okay, this is the personality spread for Leo Wu Le. And what we have in the central character is we have the Eight of Wands, and the central influence in the is a chariot. <clears throat> I mean, both these cards talk about the same thing. It talks about immense speed. He, this is a guy who lives the fast lane. You know, things happen in his life very fast. Things move very fast. He's always going from one adventure to the other. His uh, he has dramatic changes in his career. His career goes up, down. And uh, if you're with him, you know, you have to like speed up. He's not somebody who does things slowly. He does things very, very fast. I'm sure even if he drives, he must be driving very fast. He's somebody who, who le leads a very exciting life. His base personality is something which moves from one thing to another very fast. Very adventurous. And there's obviously a lot of travel. Um, he's the kind of personality who loves traveling. And he likes to be victorious. For him, the thrill is the name of a game, you know. If we look at his identity cards, though, are just, again, very different. He's a guy who lives by his heart. We have the lover's card as his identity card. And this basically means that he takes most of his decisions from his heart. And that would mean that he's impulsive. He doesn't think it through. He moves from, you know, he feels everything. And uh, when I think of him, I really think of a fast car, you know, fa a race car driver. He needs to feel the thrill of life. And every decision is taken by impulse. It's taken by how he feels. And when he loves, he will love completely. But he might get over it also very fast. The same thing for the Wheel of Fortune. I think in his life, there have been lots of ups and downs. And he's someone who's come stronger, you know, from those... It's not, change does not phase him and that makes him a very very strong personality because he's you know he's like you know give it to me and I will you know make something out of it he's somebody like that very interesting if you look at his past his past he was the knight of cups and the knight of cups actually is much slower than this fast paced personality that he's become so initially in his past he was you know uh, someone who would take time, who would smell the roses, who would maybe a little, be a little bit more poetic. He was a different sort of guy earlier and maybe now his career has forced him to, you know, adapt and learn and, uh, you know, be spontaneous. Uh, he was he's, he was somebody who, you know, would only, uh, who would move a little bit slower and who would, uh, you know, take his own t sweet time to do things, but not now. Now he's completely different. And uh, in his future, if you see his future influence, we have the Hermit. We are going to see that he's going to take some downtime because I think he will head towards a burnout. The way he is going, he's going to head towards a burnout and he will need that downtime. Maybe his body will force him to do it or, you know, events in his life are going to tell him, like, you need to figure out what you want. You can't just go from one thing to another and, you know, let, you know, um, be on the fast lane forever. He has to slow down and he is going to slow down uh, in the future. He's going to, you know, take a break. If you see how he's in the public, we have the seven of pentacles. So when his public persona is actually much more patient than his actual persona. So when he's in front of the public, he, uh, he knows how to, you know, put in seeds and he knows how to, you know, wait for it to grow. So he's not, uh, he doesn't try to hasten the process of, the harvest you know he doesn't try to he knows he will get his due he knows he has to be patient he knows if he does what is required of him he will get the benefit of it in the in in private though he is definitely the knight of wands he's very passionate very uh, full of life and you know ready to try out as i said different things because he has the passion for life he's really a fun guy to be around with you know it's like life with him would be like an adventure his fears this was an odd card for me to see in terms of his fears we have the six of wands i think he fears failure 
because this is a card for victory and he he has a lot of victory and he feels maybe you know what if the next time i fail and so each time he succeeds on something he's worried that the success is fleeting he's worried that the next time he will fail in the same thing and that keeps him up in terms you know um uh, he needs to he needs to win every time and that is his fear he has fears of failure he also has fears of responsibilities i feel in the sense this is a leadership position and when responsibilities are put on him he would like to be the carefree guy you know that is what he, he really enjoys and when he has responsibilities maybe you know carrying a series or a movie that kind of responsibility when it comes he takes it seriously and uh, he worries about it gives him anxiety now this again is a odd card for to come out as desires we have seven of swords and as a desire i would say you know this is having a person who's taking things and you know he just wants to go away from the crowd and he he again wants to be a lone wolf i think deep inside and that is what maybe we have a hermit he wants downtime he wants to be alone away from the crowd and that is what he desires right now because there's a too much of things going on in his life and he wants to be away he doesn't want to do interviews he doesn't want to do any of those things right now he just wants to be alone take some rest take some downtime and that is why i feel this has come as what he desires the most so that is his personality reading and i hope you all enjoyed it let's move to his career we will look at his past present and future of his career sir please show me the past present future of wuley's career please show me the past present future of wuley's career please show Okay, so this is the career reading for Leo Vule, and we look at his past. We have the Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, and the Seven of Cups. So I feel he got into this industry pretty early on. He was very young when he got into it, and most of his career he actually just juggled. This is what I feel when I look at this card. He juggled it. He had. a lot of choices he uh, you know there was time when he was confused what he should be doing in his past but he has been this person who has you know made it work who has juggled tried this and tried that and then found something somebody in his life maybe someone in his family maybe his mom uh, has supported him throughout this difficult phase of this time when he had in his career somebody who gives a lot of guidance someone who's very calm and very sensible practical woman has helped him and if you look at his present he's in a very happy space he's enjoying his popularity he's enjoying his um he's enjoying the money which is coming in we have the 10 of pentacles we have the knight of swords and we have the five of wands so the five of wands i mean like when i look at this he has a lot of you know he has very lofty ambitions and he has a long way to go and he might climb he might fall but he's someone who's very determined very persistent and he will get there you know he will climb up that ladder which he wants to go he wants to go right to the top we have the knight of swords you know he's running he's literally running towards his goal and he's in a very very happy space now he seems to have had you know he has family around him he seems to have emotional fulfillment as well as uh you know um monetary fulfillment he's in a good space but he has a long way to go even though he feels he has reached one of his milestones he still has a long way to go in his career in his mind in the future we have the 10 of cups so i see a really happy future for him emotionally and uh, this is so interesting to me that uh, it is you know see here right now he has a 10 of pentacles which shows monetary he is very happy very well settled there is a lot of money just coming in but in the future we also see emotional fulfillment he might find the partner he is looking for in the future and we have a two of swords which also talks about you know taking decision and i feel a uh, definitely he is going to face some negativity in his uh future it's not going to be easy obviously but uh, 
we have the Knight of Wands over here, and uh, what I feel is this person, uh, you know, he's going to uh, deal with this problem head on. Not going to back down, he's going to deal with it head on. And he's, he's going to have fun dealing with it. He's not a guy who uh, backs down when challenges come. Actually, challenges, uh, you know, make him better at his game. And that is what I feel. So, we, I see a very bright future in terms of his career for him. Obviously, everybody has ups and downs in their career. And he's going to have that. But they are not going to face him. Now, we shall look at his love life. This is a love spread, uh, love spread for Leo Wu We have the Empress. We have the Empress, the Four of Cups, and Eight of Wands in this past. King of Wands, the World, and Justice as his present. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and Temperance as his future. And in the past, I feel he had one serious relationship, which kind of fizzled out over a period of time. Because I think she was just left waiting because, you know, he kept traveling, he was busy. And she just kept waiting for him till it got tired, she got tired of that. And after that, you know, he went through, he had many women interested in him. So there was nothing, but there was nothing serious which was going on because his life was just too fast paced for any serious thing to develop. And then we have, in his present, we have the King of Wands we have the world and we have justice so none of these cards show me that you know uh, there is any kind of love going on right now there is no space right now in his life actually for romance yes maybe passionate uh, he is the king of wands a very passionate guy very strong guy but he is just too busy he's just simply too busy to have anything really develop right now in the present in the future, we are seeing the Five of Pentacles and we are seeing Seven of Cups and we are seeing Temperance. Now, Seven of Cups, <clears throat> again, gives a lot of multiple choices to him. In his love life, he is going to feel the period where, you know, he really wants someone with him and he's going to feel lonely and upset that he doesn't have somebody. Because, uh, you know, one day he will wake up and he will realize his life has just gone by too fast. And even though at that moment he has a lot of choices, it's not really going to catch him emotionally. He's not going to get that emotional, uh, you know, string which he needs. But we have temperance over here. We have the sun and moon. And uh, he's going to find his balance. And if I look at his previous reading where I feel he's going to go through the hermit mode, it's the same thing, you know, where he's going to take the time out and he's going to you know, reevaluate his life and he's going to try to find balance. He's going to learn that balance is very important and he needs to balance his emotional and, you know, his emotional life and his career for him to find that person who he really longs for. So... Yeah, that's what I see in his love, love spread right now. And I hope you all enjoyed this reading.